In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to create a new FTP site in IIS Manager on a Windows 2008 server. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up the Manager in Windows 2008 by going Start, Administrative Tools, and IIS Manager. From here, we're going to click on Sites, Expand, choose Add FTP Site. We'll call the site Test1. Give it a physical path to a folder we've already created. It could be a website that's already in use or just a folder of your choice. And there's test one. So we'll click OK. Click Next. Now we have to add the binding. So we can bind it to any unassigned IP address or choose a specific address. We can leave it at port 21 or we can change that to any port that we like. We can also tell it to start FTP automatically and then at this point we can require SSL allow it or just turn it off. If we require it we've got to choose a certificate and we'll choose one that we've created earlier. If you have not created a certificate make sure certificate services are installed on your server or use a third party such as Network Solutions to create that. So our certification authority has already been created earlier and we have several different certificates that have already been created. So from here we can add enable virtual host names as well such as FTP dot the domain that you want instead of just the domain itself. So it allows you to add subdomains from here. Click Next. We can choose our authentication. If we choose anonymous anyone can log in without a username and password. Not recommended. If we choose basic it will require a username and password. Allow access to. So if you require if you check basic you are going to need to allow access to people. You can choose all users. This is not the same as anonymous. You actually have to have a username and password already. And we could choose specific users or roles or user groups to let multiple people in at the same time. So we'll just choose all users for now. Give them read and write access. Although that's not necessarily a good idea if it's a secure website for FTP. And then from here we can double click and we see all the different options for FTP as well. If you've already got an FTP site, which we do here in the default site, then this site isn't going to start unless you choose a different port. So if we go to Manage FTP Site, Advanced Settings, then we can change this port from 21 to be another port, and then we'll have two different ports for the FTP services for two different servers.